answer a few of those questions. We have closed the flyer. We recruited for six weeks. We have eight vacancies now. We are recruiting for them. We haven't even uh, take the exam is tomorrow. It takes about six months to hire in this city. So, Mannheim, other cities may be different. At this point, that's our experience now. We don't, we're not the personnel division, unfortunately. We do try to push them and try to recruit as fast as we can. So, we've had, we've had vacancies for longer than six months. I've right. been on this board Absolutely. for a long time. And we've just been saying we're short staff, we're short staff, we're short staff. Now it's all coming to a head. Not to, right. not to blame you, but you know yeah. something's got to change because you know it's we probably we probably had vacancies for a couple of years now. We've had yes, and, and we just received approval to recruit for them a well, few months ago. Actually, just six months. You know, I'm saying a few years we've had vacancies. Not to not to hammer you, but it's something's got to change. Whether it's Fred or or William, mm -hmm. somebody help us out here because. It's getting worse. Believe me, no one wants to hire people as fast as we do because we have tons of work. Now, in terms of the watering, staff performs urban forestry work. Watering is just something new that happened this year as a result of the drought. So this is not our normal routine thing. We had sprinklers that we wired the, uh, the grass with, which wire the trees. We can't water the, the medians. As a result, staff now has to water the trees. So we have that, that operation going on right now. Um, these are the options that we have available. There's obviously some significant costs associated with these. Uh, we don't like to use contractors over and above what we already have, obviously. Um, so there's some challenges. We don't have the money to, to pay for these services right now, so the request right. is supplemental. Can you walk us through uh, your, your timetable for filling the eight vacancies? Is it gonna, will they be filled in? Three months? Because you said you started three months ago. You're talking about the staff vacancies? There's eight staff vacancies. Right. Are we going to have two on board in October, two in November, two in we, December? We have up to, we have eight vacancies. We'd like to hire them all. It's unpredictable. We, we, we don't manage the recruiting process, just to be clear about that. We expedite it by talking to, it's our personnel services agency. So I imagine we probably have staff by February. That's just how it goes, just yeah, on experience. <clears throat> so that, that's, and, and on the, you know, there's mention that we keep repeating we keep our lack, because of lack of staff power or manpower, we can't do things. I don't think I've mentioned that. I think. Oh, it's been said yeah. a lot of times. Yeah, someone we're, mentioned We're, we're shorthanded, you know, with funding. And, you know, I don't, <clears throat> there was a prior, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a uh, chair. Up who used to harp on that all the time because it's always, we don't have the funding, we're short-handed, things like that. It's been, it's been, it's, it's well, been said a lot. And we need, we need to, we need to, uh, we need to, we need to expedite that and do what we can to push that. It really has. It's, it's been kind of our, our uh, monitor for Santa Ana lately. That we're short-handed. People are retiring. Well, then we need to recruit. We know it's we know what's happening. People put in their their retirement papers in in due time because they got to get curves and you know, all that. So it's there. It's just filling out the forms, getting them in, and doing that process. Whether it's six months, I've heard it for several years now. We're short-handed. We're short-handed, and we haven't hired anybody new. That's true. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I, I had another point. Um, the, the thing I'd like to see in the costs is, uh, you, you mentioned watering, you have sprinklers there, but you know, they're for the grass. Um, I, I really like to get some permanent irrigation in there so we don't have to rely on contractors for staff to run water trucks through. Can we convert some of that? Get a cost in there to convert some of those sprinklers to the That's what the bottom line is there. The two, that where it says or and then C, that's actually taking the existing and capping off yeah. and just leaving the sprinklers closest to the trees to water okay. so that we're not essentially watering the grass or watering the trees with the sprinkler system. Great. It's just on a separate note, I don't know if you know, so if there's no plan to water the grass 
is that just for, because I've noticed in certain parts of the city it's all just the grass dies and then it gets worn off and then it goes away and you have dirt. There's dirt. Is there any plan to deal with that or is it going to hold it down? Can of worms. Well, there, there's um, median, median um, conversions happening. Yeah, median. But, but I guess I'm talking about larger park areas. Park areas? Yeah. Grass areas, park areas. Christmas, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about the parks. That's the, the parks are not subject to the state mandate or restrictions. Okay. That's, 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 so they are subject to the um, stage one or stage two water restrictions. I think now it's up to three times per week that they can water or something to that effect. Um, so I, I don't know the schedule. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the tree of watering, sprinkler, conversion, um, this 275000 Cost. This is for uh, medians only, Correct. and it's for medians that are not on the schedule to be converted. Or is it like how how does that play with our work to um, convert the medians to drought tolerant? This is all the medians because it's all the trees that we're concerned about now. Okay. So this is all the medians, not related to anything in the conversion project. Got it. But some of the medians. This includes all of them. Yeah, I know some of them are in the conversion project, but this is to get the trees watered now. So uh, my question then is, if the if a median has been converted and there are trees there, um, were, was there sprinkler plan for the trees in those projects, or how is that? Um, the project, the median conversion project, will include watering the trees, but it'll be separate of this because it'll be probably drip system, it'll right. be a whole different That's irrigation type, totally not related to this. It, this mm -hmm. is a quick fix, if you want to call yep. it, to get water to those trees. Okay. I just want to make sure we're not yeah. spending right. money on quick fixes for trees right. or projects that are about to have future projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is this a, uh, item one, is that just an annual cost for I guess I'm unclear of the timeline. When does the uh, new, new watering system come online? Are we going to be doing, how long are we going to be doing the uh, manual watering before we get the, the new sprinkler system online? We're manually watering as we speak. We will continue that because we have to get water to the trees. Right. So that will not change at this point. We have to continue doing that until we get Another How long does the retrofit take? Yeah, I guess the, my point is, it, it, is when, does the, when does the retrofit occur and we stop doing the, the water? Once we enter into a contract, I think it'll at least be two months before they can start to end the retrofit mm -hmm. contract. Um, yeah, I guess I'm a little confused too. So if, if we said C was a great option to take that one time hit, $275,000, does that take away part of number, item number one, does that start to eat into some of that cost? Two totally separate things. Okay. Two totally separate. The item one is planting 700 new trees, new trees. and watering those new trees. Has nothing to do with meat. Is that or two separate? If we by chance would have a great rainy season, obviously you'd cut out the uh, water during yes. that time, but would, it, would you then not water in the summer or out of the rain season? Unless it rains in the, in the summer, I wish. we would still have to <laughs> still have to water. <laughs> and you're talking yeah, medians and parkways. So right. there's not going to be any grass in the medians anymore ever yeah. again. Yeah, the rain will only help we, us to where our staff won't have to water for several weeks after that rain. But yeah, and unless we get rain all summer, we'll, we'll still be no. It's been the drought's been so summer. bad, I would, I would assume that uh, you would still have to water. Yeah, it'd be consistent. Yeah, you'd have to keep watering. Yeah. yeah. I would like to extend a little bit. Uh, Fred, we're talking about vacancies that we have in public works and how quickly we can fill those, so we don't have to hire a contractor. You as really department head have, have control of that, you know, Jim, you're hiring, no? Um, <clears throat> we wish. Okay. Uh, we, we um, yeah, it has to go through the budgeting and, you know, 
personnel and then overall city's uh, workload. Uh, currently we have uh, 55 vacancies uh, in public works alone and uh, we haven't been able to hire, um, I haven't been getting an authorization to hire until just a month ago to start hiring people. So it's, and everybody else on, in the same predicament. And so, you know, the, the departments with handling uh, all the logistics, like the personnel and the finance and all that, and I get all these requests from everywhere. So it's slowly kind of moving in. And the market is not that great right now in terms of getting people in. Uh, you know, unemployment is low, if you will. So it's, it's, it takes time to, to get people I, I, I don't have any prediction how we can hire people. And all time, we, we just always weigh uh, whether we, we, it's, uh, it works better for us to hire full time or hire you know, people from the consultant or, or staff augmentation. We have to weigh that all the time. And we really do that all the time. So it's not going to be fast. That's, that's what I can tell you at this point. Uh, regarding item one, the watering the new trees for the first three years, can you talk a little bit about why that's half a million dollars? Because it's, it, this is the contract cost. Sure. It's additional trees. Ah. So, yeah, it's the again, but that's $500 a day for the, the contractor. And we water them um, um, weekly. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Weekly, the new parkway trees to get them established. That's our standard operating procedure for the first three years. So, that's the price okay. to do 700 trees over the next three years if they were planted today in the parkway. So this would so then that's the first seven hundred trees. Correct, and that's for <coughs> watering those seven hundred tre new trees because they'd be addition. So if we have a permanent watering system for the new trees, because I'm looking at the cost to water all of our trees citywide, and option three is three hundred sixty thousand dollars annually. Medium tree watering. Or median trees. See, that's separate. Remember, that's medians. This is parkways. This is the parkways in front of residential. We're out on like a first street, like you know, we're watering for the first three years to get the tree established. So these are parkway trees. Correct. What I don't understand, I, I guess I'm still not understanding the cost comparatively though, because the contract staff for the medians once a week is, uh, let's say, a hundred grand annually. Um, yeah. Oh, I see that it's only two hundred. Yes, exactly. Right. It's less trees. Right. Okay. <laughs> but if, as you mentioned, that by these eight vacancies were filled by February of next year or March or April, then that would would that negate some of this five hundred thousand dollars? It could, it could, in terms of the operations, we'd have to refocus at a, at a maximum level. Staff would be doing tree work, not watering work. That includes the filling of those positions. So we'd have to reassign staff to this permanent operation, essentially. So, so whether we hire somebody or not, that's additional cost of having yeah, more makes work. Sense. I mean, no, regardless, you have to assign the <coughs> assign the people. Remember the. Um, this is the $885,000 would most probably comes out of general funds right. <clears throat> if, if council authorizes it and the general fund is a, you know, kind of a limited amount. So they have to weigh yes. the priorities within the city. Um, we have a lot of priorities. Our fixing our sidewalks is $40 million, just the cracks and, and stuff that are not working, people are, you know, cause trip and fall. Um, we have a um, huge number of, uh, we have 40, $45 million <coughs> uh, cost for reducing the number of uh, uh, pedestrian and bicyclist uh, injury and fatalities. The treatments that we have to 
we have to have all over the city to um, slow down traffic, do the things that are necessary in that regard. So all these things are going to be weighed in a way that against the um, against this. Where, where do we want to spend the money? And we don't have any source right now for um, neither one of those items. The number of people uh, that are getting killed or severely injured as a result of uh, you know, pedestrian bicyclists as a result of accidents uh, actually may exceed the number of uh, homicides within the city. So it's a, it's a serious issue. Uh, so that's what you'll be considering here. You know, city, city manager uh, said well, the recommendation that comes from ETAG in terms of trees, uh, if you agree with this, the city manager would present it to council. The council would weigh in the options and you know, decide whether they want to invest on this or some other <coughs> places. I thought when it came to the city trees, we acted in an advisory role to city council. It doesn't matter. City manager uh, is presenting it to city council, so it's, you can't bypass city manager. Whatever recommendation this council make goes to city manager. City managers formulate that to council. Right. And the council will make a decision and comes back. That's you, did say, I did, you did say it might be possible for the chairperson to also speak before oh, the yeah. council. To, because what you're saying is there's a, there's a number of competing interests, no matter where you are, in business and cities and government, for where money, where allocations can be spent. And, you know, this is all about return on investment and what the city, what these trees do for the city. The image, for the, 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 uh, the cooling effect, for values, property values, and all that. And that's something that has to be presented to have any chance of you know being a competing interest that is approved. So I think we all understand that. And hopefully, if this if we move forward on this, Janelle or whoever from the council or from this committee would be able to go with the city manager and try to present this in a way where this this small cost, this one million or one point four million, is weighed against forty million and sixty million here, and the return on investment is great for this kind of project. Yes. So, so the ETAC can have a representative or two uh, when it okay. gets presented to council and can you know kind of speak on you know, why they're recommending this. And Sounds good. I think there's a, because we do report to the council on this issue, we draft a resolution that the chair can present. So the so that the, the committee as a whole is represented. Is yeah, I mean, this is also a pedestrian issue. It's not a pedestrian death issue, um, but it definitely, this definitely affects how walkable the city is. So um, that's part of my interest in it. So I guess what so, we'll go ahead, sorry. Yeah, no, I, um, you know, my, just based on what I've heard so far, my preference would be that we, um, at least for the medians, go with option C so that we can, um, you know, have a permanent solution, uh, you know, whether this is an issue that's going to be, what, you know, whether we have drought conditions for a year, five years, we'll still be able to use this sprinkler system. <clears throat> and it won't require hiring additional city staff, it won't require paying double for contractors. Um, at the same time, I'm also a little concerned about um, about uh, making any specific recommendations today without Janelle here, uh, because most of these items have been her items. So I just want to put that. Understand. Um, I guess then, just to understand this further. If we were to break this into uh, um, one, two, or three, re mm -hmm. reforestation costs you're saying is going to be 885000 mm -hmm. Add it then, item C for the medium tree watering, if we recommend doing the one time cost of 275000 mm -hmm. Add it to education is kind of spread apart. What is the educational part cost? Those were the ones that. Um 
Janelle asked me to look into for her, and that was the door hangers, mm -hmm. doing educational, you know, about the trees, 30,000. Mm -hmm. um, and then doing a video, producing a video, city council producing a video, kind of like the video we saw at the last meeting. And then the other one would be if we were to have staff go to neighborhood meetings and also talk to the neighborhoods about water and trees. So that's it. So if you put all those together as a you know one big marketing program, it's sixty-five thousand. Or you could pick and choose. Gotcha. <clears throat> and actually, what we're talking about with planting seven hundred trees is. Um, basically like a $300,000 cost, or, or let's say a 400 ish I haven't done the math yet, for the first year. Second year would be much lower, and then third year would be the same, and then there would be the trim cost for year four, five, and six. Right, and that's what was the additional that we didn't have the numbers for at the last meeting. That's why now it's inclusive of all that. So I think it's important for us also to, when, when it's presented to city council, not to present it as a, this is $800,000 cost over six years, but rather to say like that we're requesting um, uh, appropriation for this, for this amount for year one, this amount for year two, this amount for year three, because it helps put it in perspective uh, that we're not talking about a million dollars out of, let's say, but today, you know. Um, we did have an $11 million budget surplus, uh, so that isn't that crazy, but I still don't think we should be uh, putting in a request for... Maybe 1.2 million. Yeah, 1.2. Yeah. Well, it depends what option we go with, right, so... Doesn't option C also, isn't that 275 plus the 95? Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, water cost. So that's it is the water cost. So it's both of those together. Mm -hmm. It's three hundred and seventy for the first year. Yeah. Okay. I would uh, agree with with Kalad that I would like to know his input with this also. So I would agree that we don't want to vote go one way or the other with this. Everyone else in agreement? Okay. Yes. All right. Then that let's move on because we're looking at time limitation I would like to um, okay sure. if, if everyone jump to item uh, E only to the fact that I don't think yeah. this will take much time but because uh, you do have a standard right that's the, what we're interested in seeing yeah so uh, item uh, E I, I wanted to make sure that uh, E tech Excuse me, I need to um, intervene and ask a question. Uh, Member Salman recommended option C, but as I understand it, there's not going to be a vote on that at this point. Correct. No, I, yeah, right. Okay. I, request, yeah. I said that my preference would be for uh, option C, but that we should withhold on making recommendations until. Very Senate good. Elsewhere. Thank you. So, so we'll be bringing this item back. Next so we week. need, to, I mean, we're jumping through a whole number of items. I think we need to decide whether we're tabling them or or what we're doing with them. Correct. So for item C, we're bringing this back for discussion at the next meeting? I would hope that we can consolidate the discussion and vote. Um, otherwise, we'll go through the whole thing again. Well, well, I, I, what I thought that we were doing right now is uh, we have the data to to discuss. We are going to uh, table this till to the next meeting. here for it, since these are a lot of her recommendations. And that's my that's what I think we're doing. I mean, item C is a report and discuss item, which we covered. So maybe we can just add a new item next meeting um, for actual vote and resolution or something. Um, to, to take action on uh, presenting a, a recommendation. I, I would agree with that. Any other comments? Okay. So, so we, we just table this item? Yeah, table, table uh, item C. Uh, 
because we really need Janelle's input. So okay. she's, she's been a major foresight. It's a shame she's not here. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm jumping over D to E is because I think that's a quick item that we can discuss. And knowing what her intention was to see if there was a standard, and that's what Bill was going to really was going to read to us what that standard was. Can we have a motion to table item C and move it to the next meeting? Yes. I'll make that motion to be a second. I second. Who second that? Gary. Gary. Okay, thanks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> so do you want something for item D? Item D. Item D can be. Are we tabling item D? I don't know. Uh, do I have a recommendation to do so, or? I would like to table item D, but uh, to the meeting after next. Okay, is there a second? So, so October? Is that October? Okay, yes. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So be it. Okay, I, I don't mean. I don't mean. Question from uh, ETAC members about how we ensure watering for new trees planted in parkways, uh, in particular the, the ones that uh, are a requirement of a uh, land development project. Um, last, late last year, we had an opportunity to uh, revamp uh, most of our street standards, and uh, the planting standard for street trees was one of them. Uh, so before you is the uh, two pages of a tree planting standard that was uh, approved of this last March. <clears throat> and so what we did is we modified the standard to include uh, that, the, uh, that there is a deep root uh, watering system, uh, which is a rain bird or approved uh, equivalent. Um, and uh, so that's under the exhibit one. And I think a similar note is on the exhibit two. Uh, and one standard is covering trees that has a tree well. The other one is a tree that uh, that's just in a parkway. So those are the two situations that we typically have in a parkway. So I just wanted to inform ETAC that w we did make that change. We did hear that uh, we wanted deep root watering for parkway trees. So these are this is the standard that we give to a developer when they're going to be uh, planting uh, requirement is that they plant parkway trees. Um, th there was a tree planting effort uh, uh, that was done by, um, by the maintenance division recently. Uh, but when we plant trees in parkways, we also have to work with the property owner in order to hook up the, uh, the watering system if we're going to be uh, providing some kind of a direct watering system. Uh, many times if we have a planting uh, uh, project, uh, we, we, can't, we can't get an agreement for uh, property owners to do that. Right. Um, so that's why sometimes we have parkway trees that we've planted that then we have to manually hand water. Uh, but whenever we have uh, an opportunity to work with a land developer, we can make that requirement directly tied into the land developer. So whenever we have uh, condominium projects or uh, commercial uh, construction and we have several trees planted, those trees will be directly connected to, to deep root watering. Excellent. I think that was the, the question I had. Is why not have the developer water the trees right. at least for a few years? Because they're irrigating their landscape and it's part of the right. development agreement. To water yep. with a suitable system. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, if this water connection is after the meter, so whoever is paying on that meter is paying for the water. That's correct. Right. <clears throat> I have a question on the details. Is there a home on depth for the amended soil? I I'd have to get back to you uh, 
or maybe there's an opportunity to modify the <coughs> tablet. I, I, don't, I don't see that. Tom, I'm sorry, your question is on the soil condition? Is that what you're talking about? Well, I've, I've seen um, some trees, because of the existing roots, mm -hmm. uh, not quite get to depth, and it affects the health of the tree, so we just want to make sure we clearly show the depth that we want the minute soil is going in. Yes. If I could. Um, this covers the specifics of how trees should be planted. And going from memory, the last two meetings, the thing that Janelle kept bringing up was what was the standard for what type of trees were planted and recommended to the developers. Because in a number of cases, when we've had developer uh, requests come through our packets where we had to approve developers' <coughs> requests. It hasn't been how they're going to plant the trees or how they're going to water them. It's been what type of trees because they typically keep coming to us with um, sycamore type trees, which are dying throughout the city because they're really not indicative of the, you know, our climate. So while this covers you know the structure, you know, the, the schematic of how trees should be planted and how they should be uh, you know, the depth of the watering, it doesn't cover what standard we have for what type of trees developers should plant. Um, and I, maybe that's going to come through the next discussion when we the E, when we have the types of trees throughout the city. But that's been a problem Janelle's you know, has, has brought up before. Uh, that was uh, supposed to be part of uh, uh, item D. Tree faster plan and specification. Okay. Update discussion. Yeah. But again, this is item E says developer standards. And I thought, the developer standards was going to be more specific to what type of trees developers should be planting, not right. what type, not how they should plant. That was just my take on this. Okay. I think it'd be yeah. different to every situation, every development, every okay. street. Yeah. It would be a, that would be up to staff to. to there should be a, a guiding master plan. They have a master each plan street. for each street. And then the, I know we've talked about the sycamores, uh, and we've kind of. And again, perhaps that'll come up. Yeah. Yeah. In October. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I think at this point, at least the pre-meeting discussion here was to see that indeed the deep root watering was in our standard because there was concern that it was not in the standards. By this, it shows that it is correct. Any other questions on item E? Okay. Uh, let's go on to F. This is reporting of data. So we've uh, provided a, a report uh, based on a question uh, that was asked by uh, ETAC on a report by Council Ward and Neighborhood Association uh, on uh, tree inventory. So uh, so the information is being provided. And uh, Danelle, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I actually handed out because we that, inadvertently yeah. didn't get the attachments in and we emailed it to you this past Friday, but um, I passed it out, you'll see it's in color. And basically, this is the report that we get directly from our inventory from the West Coast Arbors um, data. And it can be done by neighborhood, it can be done by council ward. I just picked a sample ward and a couple of the neighborhoods within, just because I didn't want to kill too many trees actually printing everything for you, that would have been a lot of pages. But basically, it breaks down the DBH, the height, the condition, if there's any dead removals, et cetera, in whatever area we're looking at. Um, and then behind that is actually the tree species and how many are in that particular area that we're looking at. So that's just the standard report that we can pull that um, Janelle had been asking for. So that's what, what that shows. But I can, on request, pull that for any particular neighborhood or ward if needed. So, you, so it'd be pretty easy to ask for Ward 6. You just Correct. Know that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That. It comes right off the system. If I could ask just a quick question. Sure. Yeah, for right right instance, board three, okay. it's four pages of types of trees. Is this just like what the city of Herman is at like page four? You have one of 36 different types of trees, or one of that tree? 
is it because that's just what? That means that ward only has one of those trees. I don't understand that. Oh. Why is there, you know, why would there be so many different types of trees? Yeah. Yeah. They are inherited. Yeah. They've been there for decades yeah. and decades. Yeah. And now that everything's officially inventory the GPS, we can actually tell exactly how many of each tree type, citywide or narrow it down to yeah. neighborhood yeah. accounts. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of trees. That's a lot of species. It's a two-way game now. I'm, I'm going to ask, uh, make a motion that we take table item G. So that's G. <clears throat> it's the uh, operational plan oh, to uh, monitor trees definitely in poor conditions. I know you don't want to have some comment on that. But do you want that in September or October? I want it in September. I would think it would need to go with D. Yes, it, it does. Yes. That's why I want to go ahead. I would make the motion to move that to October. Do I have, have October? Yeah. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, we're down to end of new, uh, new business. Any public comment? I see none. Staff comment? Seeing none. Committee? Tom? Um, I, I have no comments. Gary? Uh, none other than a uh, special shout out and thanks to Lori for having to come back and organize all this. Thank you very much. Yeah, no comment. Dan? Again, yes, thanks to staff for a lot of information. A lot of you guys work real hard. And uh, hopefully we can get your vacancies filled so we can get you some help. I would really appreciate that because uh, I know how hard you guys work. And it's kind of frustrating at times when it's vacancies, vacancies, vacancies. And, uh, you know, we've had a statewide emergency drought over the years and it's affecting what you guys do. And I would think some of those positions might be, other than police officers, you know, you've, you've already funded, you you know, you're funded in your budget. But let's go ahead and, and get these things expedited, get them filled so you have some help. Because it's, I, I just don't like paying contractors for something where we have the money in the budget to get the work done. And you can change and divert, you know, do what you gotta do, you know, improvise with your people out in the field to, to keep these trees, because I see a lot of trees dying or stressing, you know, and then the next step is if we don't get a ton of rain, we're going to lose them. So it would be nice. Anyways, thanks again. Okay. I also want to thank staff for uh, providing all this inf information and meeting with us in a pre-meeting. Pre and with that, remind everybody, our next meeting is September 13th. Um, Carl, I have something but, for item I. Go ahead. Just if you're done with comments, it sounded like you're Okay. <laughs> You're right. Uh, so, uh, just in response to the public comment around um, uh, transportation plans around schools, I know that's an item I brought up uh, last year, and so I, I would love to have an item at a future meeting where we talk about um, what sort of treatments are done around schools. There are two schools. Uh, in Henninger Park, the Henninger Park Elementary and Santa Ana High School, where I see near misses every day. So um, I, I think it might be a little short notice to get an item for the next meeting. So maybe for October, we can add an item to discuss um, school zone treatments for transportation. School zone oh, well, treatment. Well, sorry, uh, for uh, traffic measure or calming measures in school zones. All the schools in Santa Ana? Uh, let's focus on the one that was brought up. I forget what it was. Winter Park. Winter Park. Winter Park. Yeah. And uh, also Hanninger Park. Any other comments? With that, we're adjourned. Thank you.